Hello guys, this is Joshua Matthew. Thank you for coming back. If you are old here and if you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when I upload a new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a flyer like this. Here I'm going to use 4x4 four four inches, then, and my resolution is 300, then click on grids. All right, now I have my color code here, Ctrl C to copy, then go to your solid color, then Ctrl V to paste. Then after that, I'm going to select this background, then drag it to Photoshop, then scale it up this way click OK then go to multiply and then I'm going to reduce the opacity to around 30 or 31 it's okay then apply a layer mask go to your blending option uh, tools then you blend it up like this it's okay then the next thing I'm going to do now I'm going to bring a brush, which is this. Then open it up. Okay. Then they follow by by the church logo. Then reduce the size. All right. Okay, lead. It's okay like this. Then I'm coming to this place to copy the text, my church um, name. Ctrl V to paste. The font I'm using here is Poppy. Then change the color to white. I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl J. Then copy the other test. Then I'm going to expand this one like this. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'll group it, apply center alignment, then I will reduce it. Okay, again, I will copy my test, then paste. Then, here I'm going to copy from this place. Then I'll duplicate this one, Ctrl J. Select your test to highlight, Ctrl V to paste. Then I'm, I will change the font here to Unisan. Then I will use Heavy Cap. Apply center alignment. Okay. Then I will also duplicate this one, Ctrl J, then bring it down here. Then I will copy my test and Ctrl V to paste. Then I'm going to close the character spacing here. Let me use minus 70. Then I'll make it 
bigger like this all right okay now i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl j i'll turn this one off then why this one i will convert it to smart object then i'm going to select my polygon laser tool and i'll click over here click over here like this then right click then layer via coffee i'm going to duplicate it copy it when you turn this one off then you will see how it look like okay all right now what i'm going to do now i will select this one then i'm going to copy then duplicate i mean double click then go to your color overlay this is not the color i want Ctrl C, this one, then Ctrl V to paste this color, then apply outer glow. Okay, it's already the one I want is already here. My opacity is 35, then and my size is 8. Okay, go to bevel and elbows. Then my depth is 100, then size is 8, and I'm using inner bevel. Then I'm going to apply drop shadow. My distance is 7, then spread is 4, and the size is 9. Then my opacity is 84. Click OK. Alright. Then I will come to this place again, then Ctrl J to duplicate, Why I will turn this one off, then select your polygon laser tool again, then I'm going to follow this line here, click here, like this, then you right click, then Make a copy of it. Okay. Now, I will turn this one off. I will turn this one off. Look at it here. Then double click. Now I'm going to copy this color here. Then color overlay. Then this is the color I want for here. Then select the same thing which we apply to the former one. Then outer glow, draw shadow. Then click OK. Then I'm going to the to this one. Double click. I'm going to my color overlay. Click here. Then you paste the color the copy which is this one okay and this is the one this is the color i need for the the button test here now use my i will use my arrow key to, to drag it down then do this make it like this all right then click on this test Go to your bevel and elbows. Go to your gradient color. Okay. The color code is here. Then why this place is white? Here is white. 
So, all right. Now I will bring this light flare at the top here. Then apply screen. Then go to Peter Gaussian Blur. Then 8.0. Then apply layer mask. Select your brush. Then I'll clean up here. I'll clean up here. Okay. Now I'm going to reduce the size like this. Okay. Then if you can see there is a line there. I'm going to select my brush again. Then clean it up. Now this is what we have. Then I'm going to move this one up a bit like this. Then I'll select this one and group it. This is my test. Then go back again to copy this test here. Now before then, I'll copy the scripture. Then I'll select this round shape. Drag it like this. I will apply this color. Then I'm going to apply a stroke with the color over here. Then I'm going to make it two. Now I'm going to paste the test. I'm going to reduce this one, select it to, then apply horizontal and vertical alignment. I'm going to move this to into the test. All right. Now I will copy this test over here. Select your test tool. Then I will drag like this. Then Control V to paste. And I will change the font. So I think this is okay. Make it lighter a bit. Okay. Reduce the font size. Nine is too much. Okay, now that you have it like this, then I'm going to apply center alignment, Ctrl D to deselect, now I will copy the scripture. Then Ctrl V to paste. I'm going to make the color a bit darker. Then I will change it from semi bold to bold. Okay. Now, 
the next one is this I will make it big okay then I will group it Duplicate this one Then come to copy the test Then control V to paste And you reduce the size Apply center alignment. All right, so this is what for today so this is how you can design a simple church flyer thank you very much for watching please subscribe like and share